response to criticism by some that suggests there was a relationship between uh, the Clinton Foundation and the State Department at the time. There was an email that came out in this recent set that uh, is between the, an executive at the Clinton Foundation and Huma Abedin and Cheryl Mills, where he is requesting to set up a, a meeting between a billionaire donor and the U.S. Ambassador to Lebanon. Do you have any response to? So, you know, very similar to what I said before, I'm not going to speak to specific emails. However, I think you guys know State Department officials are regularly in touch with a wide variety of um, outside individuals and organizations, including businesses, nonprofits, NGOs, think tanks. You know, the nearly 55,000 pages of former Secretary Clinton's emails released by the Department over the past year give a sense of the wide range of individuals, both inside and outside government, that State Department officials are in contact with on a range of subjects. So you don't feel like this e email or you don't feel like there was impropriety uh, in the relationship between the Clinton Foundation and the State Department? We the talk to a wide range of people at my level, at various levels in the Department. NGOs, think tanks, business leaders, you know, um, experts on a variety of subjects. Except in this her question. And and, and, and and importantly, in this case, Secretary Clinton made a pledge that she would not personally or substantially in any way involve herself with the Clinton Foundation. So it's not just any outside organization, it's a specific organization that she said ahead of time she wouldn't have contact with. So doesn't that doesn't this then seem to violate that pledge? So again, to reiterate, you know, department officials are in touch with a wide range of individuals. I'd note that former Secretary Clinton's ethics agreement did not preclude other State Department officials from having contact with Clinton Foundation staff. Okay. Can you at least try, try to answer a a Abigail's question, which was, has the department looked into this and determined that there was no impropriety? As the department is regularly in touch with people across the whole spectrum. That's Matt. not the question. The question is whether or not you've looked into this, this the, the, the building has looked into it and determined that everything was okay, that there was nothing wrong. We feel confident in our ability and our past practice of reaching out to a variety of sources and being responsive to requests. I'm sorry, are you, am I not speaking English? Is this, I mean, is it coming across as a form? I'm not asking you if, no one is saying it's not okay or it's bad for the department to get a broad variety of, of, of input from different people. Ask, the question is whether or not you've determined that there was nothing improper here.